Temperatures throughout the sunrise side are about a good 10 to 15 degrees colder than they were at this time on your Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in to your Wednesday evening weathercast, especially towards the north already seeing temperatures in those upper teens, 18 in Rogers City and on away, 17 in Atlanta. Still hanging on to those 20s though from Harrisville all the way down to Tawas. Those winds mostly today coming out of the north or out of the west, 8 in Alpena out of the west, 9 in Oscoda and Tawas City. And even coming a little bit out of the southeast though at West Branch at 9 miles per hour. But with that northwesterly flow, you can see that the lake effect snow really making its way from Lake Michigan towards the interior of the Sunrise side, Rose City, Mayo, and Atlanta, really getting a bit more of that snow, and even towards Rogers City, a little bit of those snowflakes as well. And we're gonna, be see, we're gonna be continuing to see that a little bit throughout the evening. Nothing when it comes to major accumulations, but if we do see a heavy squall, that could reduce the visibility for just a moment. So do make sure to take it easy on the roads because of the snow, but also because of the ice that accumulated from the freezing rain yesterday. But going into the next couple of hours, going into your Thursday, we'll still have a good amount of cloudiness all throughout Northeast Michigan. That lake effect will once again regenerate itself throughout your Thursday morning into the early afternoon. High pressure will be situated to parts of the Tennessee Valley, but as that high pressure makes its way into the Atlantic, we'll see those winds begin to shift on Friday. And then we'll be dealing with this quick moving clipper that's gonna bring some snow into the sunrise side throughout your Friday evening. By Saturday, that low pressure associated with the clipper will make its way through the entire Wolverine state. But on Saturday, we'll actually have temperatures nicely bounce back from the teens that we're seeing tomorrow until almost 40 degrees. Now, looking at your day planner a little more closely for your Thursday, sunset occurs at 5.54 p.m., mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures both tonight and tomorrow night could actually be reaching close to zero and wind chills on the negative side. And going into the next seven days, you'll see 39 degrees on your Saturday. Because of those warm temperatures throughout the weekend, Sunday's forecast could have a rain snow mix so it will be a tricky day to finish off the weekend the good news is going into early next week we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds and temperatures slowly falling back into those upper 20s